Police say Christopher Haynes assaulted an officer and ran off from George Washington Hospital or emergency room last week when an officer failed to secure his handcuffs. And this video was the last anyone saw Haynes. It was taken from a backyard security camera in a nearby home. Our political and government reporter Leonard N. Fleming has been covering the story since Haynes first escaped. Leonard, what's the latest in the search? A retired U.S. Marshal I spoke to today with decades of experience chasing and catching fugitives, including the D.C. sniper, says Haynes will eventually be caught and that it's only a matter of time. Police say 30-year-old Christopher Haynes got away from police custody and out of the George Washington University Hospital emergency room with a handcuff on one of his wrists. He was last caught on a surveillance camera in a backyard near the hospital. Haynes faces charges in the murder of Brent Hayward of Virginia in D.C. last month. Hayward's mother told me last week that she was concerned for her family's safety. The U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force is back looking for Haynes after catching him last week and turning him over to D.C. police. Here is Art Roderick, a retired U.S. Marshal who has spent his law enforcement career tracking down fugitives. He's got connections in Virginia and he's got connections in D.C. So all those connections that he has are going to be looked at and that's going to be the way we usually end up catching these people as they're looking for some type of assistance and they're gonna to go to family members, associates, friends. Roderick says that just because authorities are quiet doesn't mean they're hitting roadblocks. To him, the silence means they've got pretty good leads and will make it public at the appropriate time. Meanwhile, the award to catch Haynes has increased to $30,000. Reporting in the studio, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.